Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 7 here. I am your host Strictly Gaming. So uh, we'll be continuing on where we left off in the last episode where we just arrived at the beginning of North Corel. And uh, if you haven't checked out any of my previous episodes, I'll put a top right hand corner now a playlist for you to check it out and also towards the end of my video. And if you're new to the channel, can I please ask you to subscribe so you'll be stay up to date with all my Final Fantasy 7 walkthrough. Anyways, without further ado, let's get going. Alright, so welcome to North Corel guys. So this is just a little bit of a history. This used to be a beautiful coal mining town. But now as you can see, there's nothing much left but a burnt up version of what it used to be. And this is also used to be Barrett's hometown. You heard them? It's my fault. This town was destroyed. Alright, so we're just going to find out a little bit more why this is Barrett's fault. Alright, so people seem like they know who was the person who's involved with all this. Alright, take your time to speak to any of these people. So these are all the stores here. So feel free to catch purchase any of the potion phoenix down if you need and tent all right i think i might buy whoop, might buy five of them what do you want buy listen to your story let's see what we can buy first so we can purchase a very useful material called transform Alright, let's buy a couple of these. So Q is small, we want that. No, alright. Let's buy a couple of these. Let's listen to his story. Take that road on the left on the roadway station. The roadway will take you to the gold saucer. Alright. So it don't mean much to us poor folks though. Alright, this is a weapon shop here. So we've got carbon bangle. You know what? I'll buy one more. We've already got the force stealer. And a molotov. Alright, no, that's okay. Let's check out over here. I hear it's a big fad now in the city to get tattoos, is that right? Oh, I wouldn't know. I saw a big one on the arm of a young guy heading towards the roadway. That black cape he had on was really cool. Alright, we've got a bit of a lead here. Alright, feel free to take a rest if you need it. Alright, so this is the roadway station we've been mentioned. Oh, here's the gang. Errors this like Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean used to? Says Red13. It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could you, those people say those terrible things? Hey, it's my fault. All my fault. My hometown, Corel's always been a coal mining town. It may be dusty and poor, but it's calm. It's a real small town. That's the first time I'll I ever heard Maker Reactor mentioned since. What are we going to do? The only one opposed to this is dying. I am definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal, says Dine. The coal's been out for generations, our fathers and their before them, risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. Brad's like, but listen, Dine. No one uses coal any anymore. It's a sign of the times. 
Oh look, Scarlet! Right, everything is Marco now. You'll be alright, Dine. Shinra will guarantee your livelihood once the Maker Reactor is completed. Listen, Dine, I don't want my wife Myrna to suffer anymore. I know how you feel, but I feel the same way too, damn it! But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. You've got to understand, says the village headsman. That's how the coral reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us a, a easier life. It happened when Diane and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. Clouds like Shinra troops? What for? There was an explosion and a reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible, says Tifa. Well, I guess that's true, but more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Don't blame yourself, we were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why, that's why I get so pissed off, says Baron. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife. Hey everyone, if you want to go to Gold Saucer, hurry and get on. Alright, let's get going guys. Alright, so we got a little bit of a backstory of Barrett now. Diane was my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. So it's quite a tragic story, Barrett. Tiff is like, I never knew Barrett never said anything. I'm not sympathizing with Barrett. How could she say that, Yuffie? He never should have trusted Shinra. Back in 97, the graphics here looks absolutely stunning. It still holds up today. So welcome to Gold Saucer. So think of this place a bit more like an amusement, amusement park slash casino. Alright, so are you together? Single pass is 3,000 Q or you can purchase a lifetime pass of 30,000. Alright, so by this point guys, if you do have enough money, I do recommend you pay for the 30,000 so this is a one-time fee. Uh, so it's a lot better, but if that's if you have enough gear. If not, just pay the 3000 But every time you enter, you will be paying that amount. So let's go ahead and get a lifetime pass. There we go. So you can come and go freely into the park. So as long as you don't lose it. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Alright, so GP is the money uh, currency in Gold Saucer. Can only use it here, not outside uh, of Gold Saucer here. All right, cool. All 
Well, let's have fun. Eric's like, I know this isn't the right time to do this. Hey Barrett, cheer up. I ain't in a cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. Let's go. Whoa, everyone's groping cloudy. Wasn't that a little harsh, Aerith? Just act normal when this happens. You think so? Of course. We're gonna go play. So play, mess around all you want. Don't forget we're after Sephiroth. Okay, I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. Alright, looks like everyone, well, almost everyone's up for a little fun. Let's pick your partner and explore the park. Alright, I'm going to choose Tifa. Okay, feel free to take anybody here. I don't think there is any much of a difference who you choose. Alright, let's have a look here. Let's check Speed Square. Look who I see. Hey, man. How is it? You having fun? So, are you having fun? Well, good. Good for you, boy. Name's Cloud, and stop calling me boy. <laughs> me? I'm the owner of the gold source, the name's Dio. Just call me Dio. By the way, boy, do you know what the black material is? Hmm. There's a bit of a lead here. Alright, let's just pretend we don't know what it is. Oh, what? Why you ask me then? Well, a while back a boy your age came in and asked me if I had a black material. There we go, there's a little bit of lead that we know Sephiroth was here. I thought you might know who he was, seeing as how you're both about the same age. Did he happen to have a black cape? Yes, and a tattoo on his hand that said one. Where did he go? Okay. Alright, so we've got a sort of a lead where we need to go. I say stop by the battery inn if you like, boy. You'll probably like it. Many of my collections are on display there. Alright, sounds like Barrett has already lefty, but before we do, I think this is our friend Johnny. First I gotta memorize the order it comes out. Oh. Alright, let's have a look where we can go next. We've got Battle, Wanda and Chocobo, let's go through Wanda. Hey, look at this! Hey you, what are you looking so down for? How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, a happy future. But you don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true. I'm a fortune telling machine. Name is... There we go guys. So it looks like we've got a new character by the name of Hatsith. You can only read the future? Are you kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is, says Cloud. Sephiroth, right? Okay, here he goes. Ordinary luck, it will be an active fortune. Give in to the goodwill of others and something big happen after summer. Let me try again. Be careful of forgetfulness, your lucky colour is blue. <laughs> Clouds like forget it. Wait, wait, give me another chance, says Cathsis. Wait, let me try again.
What the? What does it say? What you pursue will be yours, but you will be losing something, dear. I don't know if it's good or bad, but this is the first time I ever got something like this. Then shall we? Excuse me, says Stiffa. Being a fortune teller, this is going to bug me. If I don't see how it turns out, I'll never be able to relax, so I'm going to with you. Is it alright there, clown? says Tifa. I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Alright, so now looks like we've got Cassif in our team. So let's just have a quick look at his stats. So... Looks quite impressive, so he's got the weapon called Yellow Info and Silver Armlet. Feel free to equip what you think is suited. Let's check also his material, he's got Manipulate and Transform. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's continue on, let's go to battle. Oh, he's dead. Alright, something's going on here. Oh my god, everyone is dead. Did Sephiroth do this, says Cloud? No, it's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Oh, looks like the survivor here. What happened? A man with a gun on his arm. <gasps> I is that Baron? Oh great, now they probably thinks us. Oh yep, there we go. Did you guys do this? It wasn't us. I must have been wrong. Hurry and run, it's gotta get ugly. Stop them! That's as far as you go, says Theo. Wait, listen to... Cloud, says Cassis. Oh, what the... One more to go. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Are we just getting thrown out like this? Tiff is like, Cloud, you alright? Where are we? Says Cloud. A desert prison. Corel prison, to be exact. A desert prison? Yep, a natural prison in the middle of the desert surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. But, there was one special exception. Baron, says Tifa. Barrett. Stay back, this is something I've got to deal with. Just leave me alone. That's one of your friend, he sure looks dangerous. Barrett. Alright guys, so this is where we'll be leaving it off here today. Uh, if you want to know further what happens with Barrett and, and did he did this crime, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss my next video and hit the bell notification so you'll be stay up to date on my releases on videos. 
and if you enjoy my content please smash that like button I'll really appreciate it um, and feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think so far of the story uh, what's your favorite part in the series and who's your favorite character I'd love to know what your feedback is uh, but for now take care we'll see you in our next video